We have examined some of the key market and financial considerations that underpin exceptional opportunities. To further build on that, we will address the strategic differentiation issues. The specific topics we'll look at include, is there a proprietary technology? Lead time required to copy the technology? Potential for strategic alliances? Access to existing distribution channels? Is there a sustainable competitive advantage? Are there barriers to entry? To what extent are there substitute products? Is the production scalable? Potential for endorsements from credible figures or suppliers? And are there any fatal flaws? If the business is founded upon a particular innovation, this can produce significant benefit for the company if the innovation is protected by a form of intellectual property protection. For example, a patent, registered design, or copyright. One of the most important forms of intellectual property is a registered trademark. Simply registering a business name can be inadequate protection for a brand name and or associated graphics. It is worth putting in extra effort and cost to register a trademark. Any entrepreneurial business founded upon an exceptional opportunity will contain the potential to grow. To fuel that growth, the entrepreneur must consider how the product or service will evolve over time. If the innovation or technology is capable of spawning multiple products rather than be a simple standalone product, this means less cash has to be allocated to research and development. The significance behind lead times indicates how much time an entrepreneur can hope to own the market with a new and innovative technology. A long lead time is the period competitors are faced with before being able to enter the market and capture market share. In other words, how long it takes for competitors to attempt to re-engineer that technology, produce something similar, or devise an enhanced version. Another aspect of a quality opportunity lies in putting strategic alliances in place with other companies or stakeholders. These alliances might be with a supplier, major customer, or a key organization with existing channels in place to manage product distribution. Through such alliances, the company is placed in a better position to access necessary resources rather than trying to develop its own. Competitive advantage occurs where a product achieves differentiation in the market due to additional benefits or value over that of competitors and where the product can be sold at a lower price or premium price point to produce a superior profit margin. Whilst an endeavour to achieve a sustainable competitive advantage used to be the norm, as we transition further into the creative economy with its associated fast pace of business and continuous change, Current research illustrates far fewer companies can sustain a competitive advantage over the longer term. Sustainable competitive advantage will continue to be employed by market incumbents who can capitalize on deep customer relationships or companies that produce highly technical and complex machinery. For example, aeroplanes. For startups and smaller firms, such certainty is not assured and the goal is to create transient competitive advantages through the pursuit of new opportunities, creation of agile products and services, and construction of new competencies from existing assets to accommodate the inevitable changes or foreseeable trends occurring in the market. Barriers to entry are a vital ingredient in the play of market power. They can obstruct, weaken, or inhibit the hierarchy and levels of competition in the market. Structural barriers relate to basic industry conditions, such as cost and demand, and usually exist due to factors such as registration requirement, accreditation, economies of scale, and network effects. Strategic barriers, however, are intentionally generated by incumbent firms to inhibit market entry, for example, exclusive dealing arrangements. These barriers depend on the nature of the industry and the product or service. Any venture that considers they operate in a vacuum where there are few, if any, substitute products are in an exceptional and very enviable position. Entrepreneurs must also acknowledge there is both direct and indirect substitution to consider, and that doing without is also a substitute. Scalability of production is an important issue to consider. Ideally, in the early stages of the business, production facilities will have been systematized to deal with small production runs, 
But could these be ramped up as the business establishes itself and larger orders increasingly flow in? A potential resource that is often undervalued is endorsements from credible sources perceived to be associated with your business. Endorsements can come through trustworthy and influential people with a powerful profile in the community. For example, a community leader being appointed to the board of directors of your venture. Another form of endorsement would be prominent or highly satisfied customers. When people observe such situations, it can reduce the risk of their association with the venture, as credible people or organizations do not readily lend their name to a dubious venture. Every entrepreneur must be aware that any opportunity may conceal fatal flaws. A fatal flaw arises when a possible problem is undetected or ignored, and it holds the ability to severely impact the potential opportunity. For example, a fatal flaw is where no customer need for the product has been clearly ascertained. To close, remember that opportunities are multidimensional, and this raises a number of strategic issues that require consideration when going through the evaluation process. The more ticks you can associate with the issues that we've covered, the more likely you will be able to build an exceptional opportunity. Though, keep in mind these issues are at a broad level, depending on the nature of the industry sector and type of product or service involved. There may be additional issues to consider.